Hello and welcome to My USB Menu. So first of all, you'll receive your My USB Menu zip file. You'll be able to choose from Theme 1 and Theme 2. We recommend only using Theme 2. It has much more features. It's a lot more versatile. So you copy this folder to your desktop or wherever you feel comfortable. You double click. Over here will be the files you paste onto your USB once you've finished preparing them. Over here you have some text instructions which you can feel free to read and refer to. So first of all you double click on here. There are a few things you're going to see. The first thing I recommend you do is double click the menu so you can just see exactly what you've got here. So this is what you've got right now. It's just a template. As you can see there's text, husband and wife's wedding day, there's a random date here and there's text all around the page and as you can see these are the, for you to replace. Let's close this and start putting in our files. So you're going to need all your files. So let's say this will be your wedding video that you filmed and uh, let's say it was on the 1st of the 1st 2020 and Jason and Amy are the name of the bride and groom. Let's click in here. Over here are the rendered video chapters from 1 to 6 and the highlights clip. So let's take them and put them in to the menu. You double click on video files, select these and then of course move them on top and then replace them from 1 to 6. Then you go into the extras folder. Over here you have the images which correspond to each chapter and then you go to your images which you've extracted from your video to correspond to each video and from 1 to 6 and of course the cover image is the cover image of the menu and also it's the uh, background of the highlights clip. So you highlight all of these and paste them on top of the default ones and you'll see them change here. Now you need to change also the logo. You don't really have to. You can leave it like this but we recommend you actually change your logo. Now there's two files here. One of them is logopng.png um, redundant but we have didn't like that and uh, once you replace that you'll see your own logo on the menu this is an icon file this will be the picture that you see on top of the USB here so let's do that right now let's uh, replace these two files with our files so we've got our logo files and we're gonna one of them is logo PNG we're gonna replace that and the other one is the logo of the actual uh, USB drive. And that's done. <clears throat> At this point, I recommend you copy this folder and just make a backup of it. Just because you've already replaced your logos so that next time you won't have to do that step. Now, let's go in and see what else we can do. Let's go into the video files folder, extras, source files, and click on this customized text document. Over here you'll see information which you're able to change in accordance with the actual couple. Um, let's open up the website and see exactly how it looks as we change this. Okay so this is the information that's on right now and this is the information we want to put in. So the date's going to change to 01 and we're going to change that here as well. This one corresponds to this date this one corresponds to this date. Now we're going to change the name here. Obviously we're not going to leave it as husband and wife, but rather Jason and Amy. And then uh, watch the highlights clip. Feel free to change that to just highlights clip. Now this is a sidebar, a highlights clip and chapters. You can change that to uh, go to chapters. And uh, then we have the text over here, select a chapter. Uh, you can change that to something else. Of course, change this to your uh, website. So for example, uh, in our case, it's myusbmenu.com. Feel free to change that. <coughs> and cinematography by and your name, you can put here. And that's going to edit this information down here. Let's quickly just save that and see how quickly it changes everything. As you can see, it's all been changed. Jason and Amy's wedding day, the date's been changed. And uh, go to chapters has been changed. Now, regarding the chapters, with this theme, you have the option to either have text on the chapters 
or just have it blank with just the play sign. So as you can see over here, chapter 1, 2 and 3 have text on them. So we can either delete that or you can maybe just have just the words chapter 2 or uh, whatever lets your customers have a better experience. So let's just save this file and check it out. So now we've removed the text from this one and we've left this with chapter 2 and chapter 3 as you can see over here. Okay, that concludes the information on how to modify the theme. Let's go and see now how we can apply it to our USB. So these are the files that are now ready to be put on the USB. So let's go into my computer and format the USB drive uh, to NTFS and give it a name. Okay, once that's ready, let's double click and we're just going to drop these three files on directly. Once that's done, let's give it a quick test and see that it's working. You double click on menu and this is going to be the user experience. We'll double click on the menu, they'll see their names, their dates, they can click this to watch the highlights clip. Or they can click here to go to chapters and they can select a chapter as you can see. Additionally with the chapters they're able to select a chapter on the side. Chapter 3, chapter 2 etc. Let's check that the USB icon is working. This is our USB. Let's unplug it and plug it back in. And as you can see, this has been replaced automatically. And that's been done because we've put the file inside the images folder uh, logo.icon file. I'll just show you that quickly. This is the ICO file. You can make these online very quickly. Thank you for watching. This was the instructional video. And bye for now.